This is Fiba Podcast. Thank you for joining us in our morning daily devotion. But one question I ask myself is: After all these great degrees and doctorates and prefixes before our name, the question now is: Does heaven know my name? And that's a very important question. Does heaven know my name? And the Lord directed me to two scriptures uh, in the book of Matthew's Gospel, chapter seven, verse twenty-one. This is the words of Jesus. He says, "Not every one who says to me, 'Lord, Lord,' shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven." Verse twenty-two. He says, "Many will say to me in that day, 'Lord, have we not prophesied in your name?" cast out demons in your name and done many wonders in your name and then i will declare to them i never knew you depart from me you were he who practice lawlessness so these people are people who seem to have known the lord because they say lord we have spoken in your name we have delivered people in your name we have performed wonders in your name But the most tragic verse that I see in the Bible is when the Lord says, "I never knew you." I think that's one of the most tragic verses in the entire Bible. When the Lord, who says, "If you call upon me, I will answer you," the same Lord says, "I don't know you." That is absolutely a sad verse, a tragic verse. The Bible says in the book of Luke's Gospel, chapter thirteen, number. 26 referring to the same episode now luke gives us a little more insight he says then you will begin to say we ate and drank in your presence that means they were sitting with the lord eating with the lord and then they say you taught in our streets so but he will say i tell you i do not know you where you are from and i thought about that and that's a serious warning and today we have so many people boasting about what they have done but heaven does heaven know their names now asking myself does heaven know my name what if the lord says i don't know you and so based on that i looked at the bible and i found some wonderful people in the bible whose names are actually not mentioned in the bible but heaven knows their names the world did not know their names but heaven recognized their names and i will just run through a couple of them very interesting personalities the first person i find in the bible is there are many of course and i'm going in my own order you will find this particular person in genesis chapter 40 and reading from verse number 9 genesis chapter 40 and reading from verse number 9 The Bible talks about then the chief butler told his dream to Joseph. In other words, there was no name mentioned about this particular person. But one thing about this person was that he had a very very important role to play. Now we may not know his name, but the Bible doesn't record his name. But this man was a very interesting man. This man, the cupbearer who served the king, landed up in prison. I particularly believe was divine assignment. Joseph for that matter. The Lord had called him for great things, but he also because of various things which we're not getting into again, finally intersects with this particular man, the wine server in this particular prison. And the, the beautiful thing is in that particular place is where Joseph begins to tell the cupbearer about his destiny. When the cupbearer had a dream, Joseph interpreted the dream and thank God for that and and the Bible says the in, in the same chapter verse number 14 Joseph makes a plea to this man because the prophecy comes that he is going to be released back to his position in verse 14 the Bible says but remember me when it is well with you and please show kindness to me make mention of me to Pharaoh and get me out of this house and then he begins to explain his innocent stand but we all know the story that the, the cupbearer he totally forgot about him and it may be a 2 years later is when 
he remembered Joseph was in prison because Pharaoh had a dream. Now, why am I talking about him? This particular person is an interesting person because there are people in our life who we come across their main aim and destiny is to lift us up at the right time. And so I have been praying and said, Lord, there are people who are assigned in your life and my life, just like this person. We meet in very rare circumstances, but they have an assignment on that life. Their assignment is to lift us up at the right moment. Now, it is interesting that he forgot about Joseph for quite some time. And I think that was also divinely orchestrated and in the plan of God. Perhaps if Joseph was released at that point of time, he wouldn't have risen to the status of where he rose. But I personally believe that God had his time and God used this nameless uh, man, the cup bearer of the king, to remember him, to recall him and put his name forth at the right place at the right time. So I'm going to pray that Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we will have our names mentioned in the right place through these unknown people. If we need a business, somebody must remember our name to say, hey, I know this particular person. Uh, let's call, off, call out for him and he's going to do a good job. Life, we must pray and believe God get somebody up so that they will mention my name to others. And these are people who are called to help us out. Nameless people, but there are people who have to declare our name. Even John the Baptist, if you remember, he came on the scene and he said, I am the voice of the one. He carried a particular name. That name was the name of Jesus himself. Just like John the Baptist carried the name of Jesus, I am believing God will speak, will get people in our life to speak our name, unknown people. But once you recommend us, I believe great things are going to happen. And I pray and believe that we will experience this. Dear listener, we are here to stand with you in your time of need. We want to pray with you and for your prayer request. Do you need someone to talk to? We are here for you. Call us or send a message at plus 91-636-425-2164. Plus nine one six three six four two five two one six four. God bless you.